Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be talking about some laser safety on the Glowforge to the Point series. This is going to be a quick video on uh, things you should or shouldn't cut, and a lot of this is going to be up to you on researching, but I just wanted to show you some uh, guidance on this and how to test for certain things and the most common things that people try to cut that they shouldn't cut in their laser machine ever. So, uh, to get started, all you got to do is go to Google, type in laser safe materials list, and you'll get a whole bunch of different results. Um, but a lot of people are unaware that they can't cut certain items in their laser, and they don't know this whenever they're just starting out. So that's why I'm adding it to this new uh, newbie series here. Um, and we're going to just use this link right here. I already have it open. Um, and as you can see, they've got right up here on the top, never cut these materials. And the most common things that I see people trying to cut is either PVC or ABS. Um, there might be some epoxy that you see every once in a while if you try and epoxy stuff. But you usually do that after you cut materials, so you're not actually cutting into epoxy. Um, so yeah, you can go through this list. If there's anything that you're trying to cut or you're wondering if it does cut, uh, don't cut these materials. There's like harmful gases, that's like chlorine gas. Um, could potentially kill you if you uh, do it in an unventilated area and it could horribly ruin your machine uh, like to the point where it looks all corroded and rusted just don't cut anything on this list it's not worth it um, it will ruin your machine and possibly harm you or your family so don't do those things um, and then if you scroll down a little bit further it gives you suggestions on what you can cut what is safe there's a lot more that's safe than unsafe but there is things that you want to be aware of um, so with that said, you can go through this list on your own, uh, but I do want to quickly go over how you can test for plastics in specific, like for chlorine gases here. So there's a thing called, um, the copper test. The, um, what that is, is you use a copper rod and you heat it up with a, a blowtorch here. So if you have a plastic coating on the copper, you're going to have to hit it with the blowtorch first to melt that coating off so it's straight copper. And then when you have that heated up, you're going to touch this copper rod to the material that you're going to test. So for this example, let's just say you're going to use this vinyl blank, uh, plank flooring here. Um, this stuff has chlorine in it. Uh, most of this has chlorine in it. It's not safe. Don't cut it. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to touch this heated tip of the, the copper onto your material. So let's just say this material here, you're going to touch it on there on a piece that you're not going to use. It's going to then melt this piece onto your copper. And then you're going to hit it with the blowtorch again. If the blowtorch comes back orange like this, then it's safe to cut. It has no chlorine. But in this case, since it has... Um, vinyl uh, and it's go going to have chlorine in it it's going to come back green like this it'll be like a nice bright green color or any hint of green in it it's got some form of, of chlorine in there so just a heads up on that that is how you test a lot of different plastics or vinyl materials um, it'll be the same thing with like record uh, players uh, like record disc here so what you want, you want to never cut one of these uh, records here by themselves. If you want to create the look that you see a lot of people do with like lasers with the records, what they do is they actually make their own record out of acrylic material. It's a, a form of plastic, but it's safe. It has no chlorine in it. Um, so you'll make an actual record out of that that acrylic first and then you can make it look like a real record from that so just a quick tip on that that's that's how a lot of people do that never cut into one of these straight from like a goodwill or something this will ruin your machine over time to the point where it is corroded and this can put off harmful gases for you and your family so that's pretty much it you guys i just wanted to quickly touch base on a safety video before you start cutting since in the previous videos I showed you guys how to create some designs and then we're gonna get back into the design making but I did want to make this video before you actually start cutting too much materials with all these designs that we're gonna be making here so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope this helped you out I know I quickly went through that uh, you can replay the video if you need to but just a quick recap of the copper test you're gonna heat up the uh, copper and melt off any kind of coating that you have 
you'll touch this heated piece onto your material. So let's say this record, you'll just touch it onto that with a sample piece. It will ruin or melt your material, but this is the only way that you're going to be able to test it. And then you're going to reheat it up. If it turns orange, there's no chlorine in your plastics. If it turns green, there is chlorine and it's not safe. Don't cut it. So that's pretty much it for that. And then there is leather uh, as well. There's like um, vegetable tan leather or chrome tan. Uh, look it up from your manufacturer. It's recommended to use vegetable tan leather only with lasers. Uh, chrome tan can have some harmful uh, material in it as well. I do see a lot of people cut chrome tan leather still, but make sure you have it very, very, very well ventilated if you're going to do that. Um, but other than that, you guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay safe laser cutting. We'll catch you guys next time.